into your monthly forecast for the month of March. Now, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Now, please take note that this is only a general reading, okay? So, if this doesn't resonate with you, please check your moon risings. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, Gemini. Let's just hope that this month will be... You know, in favor of you. going to be overworking yourself a little bit this month. But be very careful with your health. And it seems like there's um li like there's a like mode of communication or like a news that you'll be hearing and it seems like you're going to be a little bit walled up and something that you're going to be a little bit in denial about. Changes are actually coming into your um, love life. It seems like you are going to be making this move. Or you're going to be making this decision of willing out the changes that you... That, okay, let's shuffle again. That you would like to have in your life. Okay? You're moving on from one phase to another. From one relationship to a new situation I'm not saying that you're sure you're gonna be like moving t from one relationship to another but so Gemini is actually into multiple partnerships or relationships you better think twice all right it seems like you want to be pleasured this month and um the satisfaction won't be there, but then, you know, let's take a look when we pull out more clarification cards for this. And for those Geminis who's actually looking for a new job or career change, let's take a look. What is the right path for you this month? Protected. Counseling. Animals. Hmm. Okay, Gemini. It looks like you are going to be running away from something, okay? Or you'll be walling yourself up about a particular situation or somebody who wants to reach out to you, especially if this is a water sign. Now, there is a very important talk that the two of you have to make or the two of you have to face. But you are trying to avoid the confrontation because you don't really want to deal with this drama right now. Or... You don't really want to discuss whatever that needs to be discussed, especially if it pertains finances, okay? Now, you are going to be working so hard, and you just want to focus your your attention, your, you know, your, your energy, okay, into your work, making more money. And it seems like you're also, you know, talking to your family, asking for some advices, and none of them, you know, none of their opinions feels in favor of you partly you know that there is a negligence from your side but then there is a part of you who just can't really accept it no you know it's not my fault i'm only working i'm like this i'm like that 
you're still trying to defend it to yourself that or you're still justifying to yourself that whatever you have done is not actually a fault or it's not actually a sin but you know that there are you know you have already incurred a lot of imbalances in your relationship because you're focusing too much onto something instead of regaining your balance or trying to regain whatever that needs to be regained yeah for like for example you know attention to your children attention to your family to your wife you know to your marriage especially to your sex life that's been really cold lately you know um i feel like it's up to you to you know to do all these reflections but if you will be in denial of all the things that you're supposed to be doing then even if you move from one relationship to another nothing is going to happen to you okay now communications will be very active there will be a lot of people who will be giving you advices who will be offering you some counseling and stuff like that not just family members but also your close friends but you will be like no i don't need that okay so money will be uh, money will be very easy for you this month okay it's so easy for you to reach it's so easy for you to have it's so easy for you to earn it well it will also be easy for you to spend it but even if you spend it money will still keep on coming back and forth it will just be you know bouncing back and forth and it's not going to be so hard for you even to pay all of your debts or pay all of your credits okay now you will be asking for the opinion of other people that is you know not really known to both of you and you will be asking if it's really your fault if it's you know if it's like you know the other party or is it the uh, is it the outside um influences or resources or is it some other things okay but i feel like you will be reaching up to a resolution and you will also be opening up your eyes that yeah you know if i did not do this we won't reach up to this point you're already at the breaking point okay and you will successfully pull this up okay you will manage to survive it and to you know to save your boat or to save your ship all right so don't worry about it now when it comes to your finances again money coming in but you will be working so hard you will be spending a lot of time at work you'll be coming home late and this is you know the problem that's been happening in your marriage or this is actually the main thing that's been breaking you apart you're always concentrated in the finances it's always about the money okay because you know how hard it is to earn money and you know how hard it is to work late and to you know to swallow your pride sometimes but there is a decision that you will be making or there is a decision in the office or by your boss that is not going to be in favor of you and you will be a little bit, you know, you'll get upset with it. That this decision is supposed to be, you know, like, supposed to have your consent or supposed to have your, um, your, you know, your knowledge. But then this happened right behind you and you will treat this as a betrayal. Or there is actually a promotion that they will be um, offering, but then instead of giving it to you, they will, you know, they will see that the that there is another person who deserves it more than you, and you will feel like, oh my God, you know, I've been killing myself just to perform in this job, and that, you know, that's it. They're just gonna choose someone over me, and it's so unfair. So. You're going to get upset with the situation and you will also get upset with the with the results. So I feel like this is also, you know, uh, last two weeks of this month, you will be um, slowing down and you will be spending much more time with your family. Well, not to mention that the reason why you're, you know, you're falling apart is because you are focusing too much on your ambitions. OK, and the end of the month. The management will realize that you are still the right fit and you will still be con and you will sorry you will continuously make money okay and for those gemini's is actually in the uh um in the business or if you are self-employed you will be making a lot of money right now but because of the flow of clients that's been coming into your to your office or to your agency or whatever it is you will be working so hard and you'll be spending extra hours 
okay fulfilling their their request their you know the paperwork the documentations and everything else and there are actually two clients which you will be so pissed off okay that right after spending a lot of time and uh, you know like going back and forth with the meetings and stuff like that and then they will just say oh okay you know what I, i've changed my mind i don't want it anymore so it's part of the you know it's part of the job it's part of life and if ever that there are some difficult and stubborn people like this shrug it off it's not worth the energy okay now when it comes to your love life now like you know like what i said you are the one who can only save this relationship or who can save this marriage with a proper communication and it's not going to be resolved if you will feel like no I, I don't have any fault or i don't have any mistake in this relationship i have tried my best to support this family and i've been working my ass off you know but it, it takes two to tango which is you know exactly that you've been working so hard and you've already lost time or enough time you know to spend with your family or with your children and they kind of miss you so it's not just about you know uh being so irresponsible financially but sometimes you're also being a little bit ne a little bit negligent because of your own ambitions and of course the responsibilities that you have to face and there is also like a fire sign that will be you know acting a little bit stubborn around you and you feel like you don't know what to give and what else to provide for this person because it seems like whatever you give it will never be adequate enough for them or it will never be enough for them okay so there will be a tug of war that's gonna be happening you're trying to you know it's like you're gonna be proud the other person is gonna be proud the other person feels like no you should woo me and then you feel like no why should i woo you you should woo me okay but at the end of the day the last two weeks of the month he will be making it up to your partner and to your children or to your family okay now sex life all right this month is going to be a little bit unsatisfying for you and uh, there are also times that you're just going to be doing it yourself because no matter how much your partner try to uh what do you call this no matter how much how, ma how much your partner tried to satisfy you there's like a missing feeling okay or there's like a missing uh sensation okay or sensitivity the way you make love and you miss the old times it seems like the emotional baggages that's been uh, getting in the way of your relationship you have to resolve this first and you have to dissolve this first okay right before right before making a brand new beginning all right now you're going to be a little bit harsh and demanding and critical to your partner and then your partner will be a little bit you know it's like you want your partner to be a little bit more bold and daring and try a new positions you know like let's say for example that you're so tired of the you know the uh, the usual missionary thing and you want to try something else you know you're open to watching some stimulating thing and your partner is being a little bit conservative and this actually results to the non-performance and uh, softening of your currency you know and it seems like you're um oh well still in the first two weeks there will be some arguments and cold nights and cold treatments silent war but the last week it seems like the two of you will be making it up to each other and there will be some more openness and exploration or adventure now when it comes to your you know one more thing okay before i go to your to your health card or to your health section or or part you know the thing here is the reason why your sex life is being a little bit unsatisfying 
is because both of you are carrying some grudges. Both of you have a lot of issues or unresolved, okay, or unspoken issues that the two of you are not really facing or the two of you are not really realizing because you are so afraid of confrontations or you are too tired of going through confrontations and you don't want this, you know, to conflagrate into something different because you're already tired coming home from work and then when you get home it will be another talk you know toxic environment or um toxic communication all right so this is the you know this is actually the key for you to um have more burning and passionate love making again okay now okay uh, let's proceed to your health part you need to slow down from smoking and i feel like you've been under a lot of stress you've been thinking a lot lately and you are not really following the doctor's advices or you are the one who is you know prescribing medicines to yourself so at this point Well, it seems like I don't see any, well, aside from the sleeping troubles, um, lack of, well, it's more of an imbalance, vertigo, ear ringing, and muscle pain. It's because you're under a lot of stress. And your snoring will also get worse. Okay. And sleep apnea. You better go and check out with your doctor more about this. Okay. Anyway. Now when it comes to your career. Or if you're looking for some career change. Protected counseling and animals. Volunteering for the animal cause or volunteer or ab adopting a pet or um, breeding, okay, animal breeding and counseling. Either you take uh, a counseling or you're gonna you're gonna be giving some advices to other people, okay, or listening, you know, practically. And don't worry because you're actually protected. Whatever your choice in life, it will be given to you and you will be blessed, okay. Now. Let's take a look at your oracle cards. Strength. Go with the flow. Prosperity. Like what I said, okay, whatever you whatever you will be choosing and whatever your options are, you will be blessed with your choice. And just have enough strength, you know, believe in yourself, have faith in the universe and life and that whatever whatever and wherever they are taking you right now, there is always a reason behind it. Okay? And go with the flow. If things are not really going in favor of you, then there is a reason why. And that reason you will know that around last week of the month okay i feel like there will be some delays and blockages but there will be a reason which is you will be discovering it later on and you'll feel like oh okay that's the reason why all right so anyway that's it for you for this month in gemini and if you want to talk to me live in the phone or live video calls just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you